Ciao a tutti or hi to everyone. In a previous video I talked about the styles and presets in Darktable. My name is Steph and I run a travel photography website called Mel365 and in this video I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about how to organize, how to import the styles and the presets and more important I'm gonna give away a few styles that you can use in your photos too. Let's get into it. <music> Here I am on the interface of dark table in the light table view. I want today to work on these photos that I made in Moscow on a night walk, beautiful city. And I'm gonna go on this one first. And uh, to apply a style, probably you already know that you have to go into the styles module and there you select the style that you want to apply. As you can see here, I have organized all of my styles into folders because it's easy for me to go through them. So in this case, I go into a night photo and I want to apply a green, a uh, grunge photo double click on that and here it is the photo is done and the new look uh, uh, is so much better now how do i organize these uh, styles into folders um, instead of just a sequence of styles which is probably too hard to look into it very easy you use the pipe key so i'm gonna edit this one and uh, you see the pipe key between uh, the folders organization so easy to do it and if you are unaware how a style works you should probably check my previous video where I explain a little bit more about styles and how to create a style. All of the styles are saved by Darktable in a folder into the update local Darktable styles and um, this is for Windows 10 and I will add this folder into the video description. Let's get now into the import of a style and uh, there is a button here that you see I just click and I go into a folder that I created with the styles I want to import. In this case I want to import the style with a high contrast black and white here it is it's already organized there if i double click obviously i'm gonna change this photo to black and white and that you may like actually more went back to my green mid-tones effect and i want to show you also another thing it's a paramount that you use a capital and small letters uh, as the way into your organization what i mean here is that if i take for example this high contrast preset and i'm gonna edit and i create a duplicate and just look what's happening if I put a small s instead of a capital s here you see that I create actually a completely different uh, folder organization and that's obviously not what I want so I delete this preset remove it and it's all done now let's jump into the presets and to do that we have to go into dark room and the difference between presets and styles is that the styles uh, takes the look based on a, a combination of modules that you have used and they are stored in the history here and uh, the preset set works only on a single module for example if I use the tone curve and I want to add here the tone curve I can use a preset and I do that into the hamburger button here and I can use for example contrast compression with a single click and it's gonna change the look but only on the tone curve let me go back and create my own preset for example I want to dark up the mid tone and also a little bit the highlights and the shadows and I want to save these uh, into my my favorite so I store new preset and I say uh, test uh, number one and it's all done and now if I go into the list of the preset you can see that in bold you have test number one here and that's preset that I have created unfortunately you can't export presets as such or you can do you can add the preset to a style and then export and import the style so you use the style actually to export and import also the preset another possible way is to work on the database of dark table if you want to do that but it's a little bit more complicated now let me resume this uh, tone curve to zero if you want to add the preset you can do it then from here you go and test number one and it's all done another possible way is to go down in this hamburger button and uh, you go into tone curve for example and you go to test number one and you have the same effect dark table comes with uh, some predefined presets and uh, obviously you can create even more presets on your own and where do you see all of the presets that you have available you can go into the setting and the preferences and you go into presets here and you can see all of the presets based on the module for example if I go on tone curve where I just added a new one and you see that I have test number one here and the bottom and you can see the difference between the one I created and the one that comes with dark table which is locked the last thing about the preset is that you can actually apply a preset 
preset on a, a set of images and I'll show you how you open your preset here and you can auto apply the preset to matching images so when you click on here it opens up a new window where you define what you mean for set of images that are matching so for example you could create a, a denoise preset for all of your photos that have an ISO value of 1600 or more so now every time I import photos with ISO 1600 or more I'm gonna denoise the photo and that's it if you found this video useful please add a like I really appreciate that and subscribe to the channel and tick that little bell so you will receive a notification every time I post a new video on Darktable and I'll see you next time Thank you.